So if you're not sure about courses that you might want to undertake, further study, um, this day is designed to inspire your next steps, to hear from speakers who have been there and done that, followed quite often quite convoluted career trajectories, to find out about what worked for them, what didn't, um, and to basically get some advice from them about how you can best prepare yourself for a career in psychology. I just wonder, just a show of hands, who here is interested in the possibility of a career in clinical psychology? Wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm a clinical psychologist and really I work with people to help reduce psychological distress and increase psychological well-being. My main background has been in hospices, so I've worked with people with life-limiting illnesses. I also work with people who are family carers of people with dementia. In my talk today, I was talking about how I became a clinical psychologist, what the route in for me was, what training was like, what I've learned along the way, some of my reflections. My first job I got, um, it was advertised on the BPS website, little plug there, um, <laughs> and it was actually working in a hospice, and I'd never considered working in a hospice, I'd always thought I'd work with children, this was with adults. And from there, because I was getting quite a lot of requests to work in different settings and come and help us with our resilience, I ended up giving up my job after about four years and I, I went um, freelance, set up my own company. So that's what I do now. Really, it was hopefully a message of um, encouragement to people who are facing what might feel like quite a daunting prospect in applying to be a psychologist. OK, so the BPS is a really, really important organisation. The BPS plays an important role in psychology training and accrediting all of the psychology courses that are offered in universities. It plays a very important role in informing psychologists what's going on in the discipline um, and also answer any questions that they may have about how to embark on a career in psychology. Basically, one of the aims of this event is to really inform people as to the different paths that you might be able to take and the differences and similarities between these different paths. I'm trying to make this as engaging as possible over the next 30 odd minutes uh, to give you a kind of summary of my experiences that I've had so far as an early career researcher um, and also give you some tips on how to boost your CV. Um, how many of you know now what you want to do for a career? So I'm an occupational psychologist and that means that I work with individuals in the workplace um, to try and help with things like recruitment, selection, career development, um, helping individuals to really thrive at work and to make the most out of their opportunities. I could see real links between psychology and work. I also knew that I didn't want to be a clinical psychologist. I felt that it wouldn't, it would be too difficult emotionally for me to cope with. The best things are the flexibility, the autonomy and really seeing individuals thrive at work helping them to have a breakthrough moment if you like to realize that things can be better and i can enjoy work and it's okay to enjoy work this event can help because it will give you an indication of what you can do with your psychology degree the chance to network and it can also give you an idea of what you can do with a psychology qualification what might be the next steps for you and um, opening up your mind to opportunities that you may not have been aware of occupational psychology sports psychology so many of the different um, careers you can go into and i think they all sound really good